Okay. The flaps are up. Will you just touch it? Oh shit. See the little indicator? Yes. Look at the trim indicator. Yeah. Oh my god. Oop. I want the flaps to go all the way. Now, see. Oh look, you've pluck, made the plane crooked. That's bloody yeah. amazing. They go all the way if yeah, you use two, two fingers. fingers. If you use one finger, they just go down steps. We are here at AirVenture. It's getting near the end of the show. I'm guessing our friends at Level are getting a little tired out by now. You've been busy here, I guess. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Joe Marzell of Level Technology. Welcome, Joe. Well, thank you for having us. And uh, It's been a great show. We've been enjoying ourselves. The traffic has been just unbelievable here. The show is something else. This is my first time here. Ah, this is and I have, Absolutely. And I have to tell you, thank you. And it is something. What I didn't anticipate was the distances between everything. <laughs> so it's been very cool. You got a little exercise too, then. I have to say, I've been getting good night's sleep. So there's you no and everybody to, else out absolutely. here, all the hundreds of thousands of Great fun. Well, you have some, I've got something in my hand here that I got to, we got to talk about this first. Absolutely. And then I want to kind of walk down the line with you, Joe, ask you about the various level products. Some of our friends, uh, for example, the Light Sports Space Technum, I know, specifically calls out level. Well, apparently, these guys with the aero glass, That's right? Correct. Not yeah. Google Glass, no, aero glass. So I aero glass these guys is, on. is the company, and this is augmented reality. Augmented reality. Right. Now, so what we like to say is personal portable augmented reality. Okay. So that's what you're you're looking at, and what it does, it allows you to see in your line of vision, ILS through the boxes, airspace, air traffic, all those kinds of things are all coming through those glasses. They definitely are. So just to give people a perspective, because all they see is I'm wearing a pair of glasses. That's correct. Uh, goopy looking glasses, but uh, they're really doing a job. What I've got in my field of vision, and wherever I look, there it is. In fact, if I turn my head, it's like I'm banking. That's right. Uh, and so I'm seeing a, a horizontal line, a, and a high and a low line, AI. and a compass rose. That's right. And on the right side, I'm seeing an altitude, it looks like. So this is giving me a lot of information wherever I look. And as I see, you know, you'd have to, you'd have to get a little bit used to this, I'm guessing, because yeah. as I'm doing this, I'm I'm making a series of about 30 degree bangs. Actually, what we're looking to do, we are the only ones, the eye level series, are the only ones that integrate with those glasses. Okay. So, so this is bursting on the scene, brand new here at AirBridge, I believe. Is. And you're already connected up with them at level correct. technology. That's correct. Excellent. Well, I'm going to take these back off now before I do a loop on you or something. Thank you. Very cool, though. Uh, they have been covered up with people, too, I hear. So oh, yes. This is, uh, is going to go good, I think. What you're looking at between the eye level the Aero Glass and True Track, the autopilot, because now we integrate with True Track. Ah, okay. We are Our on the cutting track. That's right. A lot with them. We are on the cutting edge of the technology. This, we are the tip of the spear right now. All right. So let's hold this thing up a little bit more so people can see it. It's a very small package here. Uh, this is about the size of a deck of cards. Uh, that's right. This is the SW unit. The SW will give you AHARS, Attitude Heading Reference System, GPS WAS, and also ADSB in traffic and weather. So you can take this, put it in your aircraft. Now, in my particular aircraft, I put it on a small platform. It's on a suction cup on the right side of the airplane, facing forward. You can see the little aircraft antenna up. I see. So you do have to orient the there product to be in the way that you're going. Correct. Relatively level, and I Wi-Fi connect it because our units are Wi-Fi. No wires. No wires. To lay my, it up on the panel. Lay it up. Look at your iPad. And look That's at your iPad. Sizes. And you use a navigation app. There are a series of them the, that are available by subscription that you now use to do your navigation, your uh, your approaches, your plates, all those things that you would normally do in a navigation app. But this, the data is coming from the eye level series. And this very small package. And it looks like it's got a little tiny solar array on the top, doesn't that, it? That's an interesting thing. None of the competitors have a solar panel. We decided to put the solar panel on to give it an extra half an hour in this particular unit that will run five hours. Okay, so, so you're fun. charging a battery up, but if you're running a little long in your flight, the juice is coming down, you've got a little bit longer, kind of like a reserve in your gas tank. Absolutely, it extends the battery. Now, here's an interesting thing. 
there's a USB plug here. This USB plug can be sent to your cigarette lighter. So if you have a cigarette lighter out with USB, you can plug it in here, run this. And I ah, so this, then you're then you're good as long as long as there's engine power. Absolutely golden. I do my mini. This is what I set up. My level SW, my iPad mini on the left side on a, a, a suction mount, and then I take my iPhone, which I don't have in my pocket, and I run another nav app on my iPhone. <laughs> so I have all those backups. So it's kind of like, what's all that stuff on the panel doing for you? Well, it's You got everything primary. right in your pocket and in your hand. It, remember this, this yes. is secondary, this is backup, and it's a great safety tool. So if you're flying and you're looking for something to do this, these are the tools to come look at. This is the unit to come look at. Ours do not overheat. They do not drift. Now, this is a product you explained to me earlier that's intended for a certified, a type certified airplane where you can't just bolt stuff on without going through a lot of hoop jumping and cost. So this is a product any GA pilot with any aircraft anywhere can adapt right away. But let's go look at some of the other ones because in particular I want to talk about your products from the light sport aircraft. Sure. Let me go grab one. So we looked at the SW and, and that's the one that uh, you just put on the panel of your type certified aircraft so nothing bolts bolted down. Yes. This one could be bolted down. This is more for the experimental market. So what happens is you can take this into your aircraft, again, orientated to ah, okay. the, with the aircraft, front of the aircraft. It can go anywhere, but it has, it has to, to be, be facing that direction. Facing that direction. It has to be level in the aircraft. So you, when your aircraft tail is up, you want this. Uh, up. Okay, so if you had a tail drag, you'd have to consider how it was in, in flight. Orientation. Okay. The best things about it is that you have a static system that you can attach. Ah. So if you want to run... Let's tilt it that way so the camera can see a little better. So there's some of the connectors that you would use. And how are we using these connectors, Joe? It gives you pressure altitude to indicated airspeed. Okay, and you're drawing this right out of the aircraft system? Right, right out of the aircraft the system. The T-intersection in or something yes, like sir, that? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay. You can hardwire your GPS, your ADSB, ADSB down, GPS up, if you would like. You also have the ability of running an engine information system ah. pr uh, box into your airplane. So if you would like to have your uh, EGT, CHT showing, things like that, airspeed, and all those kinds of things, you could do it through this. It comes off the box, and GRT, or Grand Rapids, produces a box that we are integrated with, right in the DB9 plug, which is uh, in the box that we sell. Push it in here, put it to that G uh, GRT unit, then it comes out of here, Wi-Fi to the utilities, program which is free on iTunes. Okay, on, the, on this. So here's a, here's an iPad representation, and and you actually in a in a home built aircraft or in a light sport aircraft, you could almost suffice with this because yes, you don't have to have primary instruments yes, and can. TSO and all that. Yes, you can. We have a, a customer who has a C ray and it's called the Dragon Lady. The Dragon Lady. I it's, believe it's here somewhere. It is so. in the home built area. It's a beautiful airplane. Well done. Spectacular paint job. On it that. is. It. All, pa all iPads. He has no <laughs> gauges in it at all. There's none. And it's completely set up that So that way. means he's got to be able to control some stuff with that. Yes, he can. And he has a unique thing that uh, I don't think anybody else has. He can take his two fingers, swipe the iPad like that, the flaps come down. <laughs> he swipes again, the flaps go up. Oh, wow. He swipes in another area, and the lights come on, lights go off. Wow. Wi-Fi connected. Wow. And that's all through. And that's thanks to him working with this device. With a, and again, the name of this product, this particular product? This is the I-Level AW. I-Level AW. Okay. Yes, sir. Great. All right, you got another product for us, I Joe? do. And, and this is really for a pilot that doesn't need the, the ADS-B in. So let's just say you want to have AHARs and GPS. This is a small portable product that's very similar. It's got the solar panel, but it will run about 12 hours, not oh, a half wow. hours. Okay. So if you're not flying in a high traffic situation, you, know, you don't need, why do you not need flying that? in bad weather, Absolutely. this is going to do a lot better. Absolutely. That and one of the and I'm guessing that means a lower cost. We don't need the price, but it's a lower cost. Definitely lower price. Okay. And then uh, one of the benefits of this, there's a the NavWorks box, which is a ADSB box in and out that you can port in to this. Ah, okay, so you could have it all with this and that's, given another component. That's correct. And that will give you mandated 2020. Okay. Okay. That's big. The stuff that we're to talk about just a couple of days that's ago. Correct. That's very correct. You could do that even with your low-cost product and another component. Absolutely. And that works. Absolutely. All right. Well, a lot of great stuff, Joe. And, you know, we just tipped, hit the top of the iceberg here from the glasses to the eye level to the eye level sport and all the rest of them. And then there's iPads and other things. So there's a lot oh, yeah. to talk about.
about here. You got some technical people in the company, right? Absolutely. You can call us anytime. Uh, we are in Oviedo, Florida. Our products are made in the USA. And that's just a little bit north of Orlando. Just outside of Orlando. Oh, okay. Um, our website is www.aviation.level.com. Okay, great. We'll put that on the screen for folks. I have uh, Level Technology on my website as well, and we're going to hear more and more about this as time goes on. It's a very inter interesting work, Joe. Find all that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Joe Mozell and myself here at AirVenture. The landing lights? Yeah. I can use either this. Yeah. See how the landing lights are on? Yeah. Or come down here and go, ooh, landing light. On. Oh, how cool. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cool or what? <laughs>